Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial with Math Tutories. For the third quarter in grade 7, we are going to focus on geometry. At the end of this video lesson, the learners will represent point, line, and plane using concrete and pictorial models and illustrate subsets of a line. So, ano nga ba ang geometry? It comes from two Greek words, geo and metron. Geo means earth and metron means measure. It means that we're going to measure the earth and the things around it. Geometry is the branch of mathematics that deals with the study of properties, measurement, relationships of points, lines, planes, angles, and other figures in space. The basic foundation of geometry lies within these undefined terms. Una na dyan ang tinatawag nating point. A point is an indicator of a position. It has no length, no width, no depth. In short, wala itong dimension. As you can see here, a point is represented by a capital letter. So we can use any letters just like point B point C up to point Z. So a point can simply be named using that symbol with a capital letter or you can simply write the word point or you can also have PT which means point and that capital letter. So some examples of it are the stars in the sky we know na ang star ay talagang malalaki pero from a distance stars represent point, as well as the tip of a ball pen. Again, a point is simply an indicator of a position. Another undefined term is what we call the line. The line is a straight line with two arrow points on both ends. It is a collection of continuous points that extends indefinitely in both directions. Kaya siya may arrow doon sa magkabilang dulo. Actually, it has infinite points in between, pero dito ay dalawa lang yung points na pinangalanan natin, just like point A and point B. A line has only one dimension, which is usually the length. Para pangalanan ang line, we simply use the symbol of a line and we use two points that lie on the line. So here, we have line AB using that symbol or you can just write the word line and use two letters. So this is line AB. Another way to name a line is to use only one letter which is a small letter. So this one is also called line M. Kapag magpapangalan ng line using one letter, make sure na small letter ito. But usually, a line is named using two points on it. Some concrete examples are the strands of a hair and the edge of a blackboard. Here, we have a horizontal line as well as the vertical line. And the last undefined terms that we have is what we call the plane. A plane is a flat surface and extends indefinitely in all directions. So here, you can see here a plane which looks like a rectangle, but it actually extends indefinitely in both directions. And we simply use four points around it, M, A, T, H, or we use one letter inside of it. So we can name it as plane M, A, T, Pwede rin namang HMA or as long as magkakasunod yung letters. Or you can simply write or type the word plane then use at least three letters. A plane can also be named using one letter. We can use plane P which is inside of it to represent the whole plane. So other examples of planes here are papers and the top of the table. Again, these are what we call the undefined terms. These are not really definition dahil hindi talaga ito ma-define, but we simply describe it using the following description. So let's make sure na familiar tayo sa different symbols na gamit natin. For the point, we simply use that symbol. 
For the line, we use the line symbol above two capital letters. And for the plane, we use this symbol using at least three letters or one capital letter. Next is what we call the subsets of a line. In this figure, we have a line and we name at least two points here. This can be named as line AD and again, a line has infinite points here in between. So let's just name two more points here. So kapag sinabi nating subsets of a line, these are subgroups of a line in which we will be having additional terms, just like the segment. Kapag sinabi natin segment, consists of two endpoints and all the points between them. It is named using the endpoints. In this line AD, we know that this is being extended in both directions, kaya ito may symbol na arrow. Pero kapag sinabi natin segment, we simply choose two points on the line and we simply emphasize that length which is what we call the segment. It consists of two endpoints, point A at point B. So notice the difference between line and segment. So sa line, we have this arrow because line AD extends in both directions, pero kapag segment, it is just a subset or part of a line in which kung ano yung gamit mong points, do na nagtatapos yung segment. Another example, we can have segment BC, segment BD, or even segment AD. Ang symbol sa ating segment is simply a simple line above two letters, pero wala na siyang arrow. The next subset is what we call the ray. It consists of an endpoint and the infinite set of points on one direction. So, for example, ray BD from point B to the left infinitely, ayan yung tinatawag nating ray BD. Another example, we can have ray AB as well as ray CA or ray DA. To understand fully, we also have what we call opposite rays, just like ray BD and ray BA. So notice, ang BD is going to the right side, while BA is going to the left side. So, since they have common endpoints, which is point B, but they extend indefinitely in opposite ways, tinatawag silang opposite rays. While, kapag tinawag naman nating same rays, these are pairs of rays, just like BC and BD, in which they have the same endpoints and they extend indefinitely in the same direction, which means they lie on the same ray. Okay? And the last part or subset of a line is what we call the half line. It also extends in one direction from a point, but this time that point is not included. So actually, halos kapareho lang din siya ng ray. However, here, ang symbol nito is this. For example, half line BD, which means we do not include B to that line. This is just another term, just in case you encounter this. These are the subsets of a line. Pag sinawag nating subset, ito yung mga subgroups na makikita natin out of this line. So, wag malilito. Kapag ito yung symbol, it pertains to the line because it extends indefinitely in both directions. Kapag ito naman yung symbol, it means segment dahil natatapos na yung length ng segment na yun using these two points. While ang ray naman is nag-start from the end point to another infinite point either to the left or to the right. While ang half line is the same with the ray 
pero hindi kasama yung isang point. Okay? So now, let's try to name the following. Let's name three points that we can see in this figure. Here, we can see many points A, B, C, D, and E. Here, we can simply use the symbol for point A, B, and point C. We can also name using this symbol point D or using the word point. So, three lang yung pinapangalanan, pero we have written all. Next is a segment. The symbol for segment is simply this line na walang arrow. So, we can have segment AB, segment BC. We can also have segment DB or segment AC. Next, name the same rays. Kapag sinabi natin the same ray, it must use the ray symbol and it must have the same endpoint. So, we can have ray AB and ray AC. AB is going to this direction and AC is also on the same direction. Next, let's name two opposite rays. We can have ray BA and ray BC. Ray BA is going to this direction while ray BC is going to this direction. Next, let's name two lines. We can name a line using two points on it. We can name line AC and line DB. Or we can simply use one letter. We can name line AC as line N or line DB as line M. And let's name two planes. So we can use the symbol for plane and we can use three letters or at least one letter. We can have plane T and plane S. So plane T is for this plane while plane S is for this horizontal plane. Okay? I hope natutunan na ang mga basic terms or undefined terms and subsets of a line. Thank you and God bless.